Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 89. That is, what is API testing? Let me answer. So what is API testing? Testing the APIs, that is application programming interfaces. If you are testing the application programming interfaces to check whether these application programming interfaces are resulting in proper responses with the different possible inputs, okay? We'll keep on altering the inputs while testing this APIs to see whether with this uh, altered inputs, the APIs are giving the proper responses or not, okay? This process is called as API testing. So to understand what exactly is API testing, you should have some basic knowledge of what exactly are APIs, right? So in the previous session of this uh, training series, I already covered and explained what exactly are APIs in detail. In a very detailed manner, I explained what are APIs in the previous video, okay? The previous software testing interview question uh, training series, I already explained what exactly are APIs. With that knowledge, you will be able to understand what is API testing in this session, okay? I'm not going to repeat what, the, what are APIs in this session. You just go and uh, watch the previous video and come to this session, then you will understand API testing better. So testing the APIs to check whether they are resulting in proper responses with different possible inputs is nothing but API testing. So this statement, few people may not be able to understand. To make their understanding easy, I have come up with an example, guys, okay? I'll practically show how to perform API testing before you. So here is an example. So I have a website here. So this is a website, guys, you guys can use for practicing the API testing. Uh, request.in is the website. Request.in is a website. If you scroll down here, there are a lot of APIs, you see? This website people are giving you a list of APIs that you can use for practicing the API testing, okay? You can use any of this uh, list of items, okay? Each and everything is an API here. Each and every API is having a request and each and every API is having a response, okay? So when you hit this uh, request, you should get this response, okay? So I'll show you practically how to test one of the APIs here. Out of all this given list of APIs, I'll show you how to test one of the APIs. So I'll go with this one, guys. Uh, register successful, okay? Post one, post register successful. Let me select this one. When I select this one, guys, you see, this is a request, okay? When I select this one, the request has been changed. I'll right click on this and open a new tab. I'll get this URL. Copy this URL, guys. This is a request URL, okay? This is a request URL of the API. And when I hit this uh, request URL, I should get this response, okay? With these details, if I request this URL, then I have to get this response from the server, okay? So I have to verify whether I'm getting a proper response when I hit this URL or not, I have to check request or not, I have to check. How to test it? Uh, in order to test that, guys, I'll use uh, one tool known as Postman tool, okay? I'll search for Postman here, Postman Chrome extension. I'll say Postman Chrome extension here. And uh, I'll click on this link. It will take you to this page, Chrome Web Store for Postman, and uh, you'll get an option like Add to Chrome. Click on that Add to Chrome. So yeah, I selected Add to Chrome. Nothing is happening. Let me select it. Okay, Add an App uh, option is coming. I just selected Add an App. Yes, in a while, you see the Postman has been installed. So I'll click on this Postman Chrome extension. I'll launch it like this. Let's wait for it to launch. So here I'm practically showing you, it's asking me to sign up. For now, I don't want to sign up, guys. I don't want to waste your time. I'll say, take me straight to the app. I'll create an account another time, okay? So it has taken, it's asking you to download if required, okay, for a better experience. It's not required compulsory for now. I'll just close all these dialogues. And here, you see, this is a postman, guys, okay? This is a postman tool. Here, we have the get, I have to change it to post. Because here, in this website, in this website, guys, if you have seen, we are testing this register successful, which is of post type, right? This is of post type. So here, select post and paste the URL here. Okay, paste the URL here. And uh, along with this request, along with this request, we have to send some information also. Okay, what is that information we have to send? We have to send this information, right? Copy this uh, information. Copy this information and click on this uh, and select this body. This body will be enabled only when it is post. You see, when I change it to get, you see body is not enabled. Again, if I select post, you see body is getting enabled. So for post requests only, we can enable the body, okay? So that we can send some information. Select the body, guys, and by default, some other option is selected means select the raw option, okay? So change this option to raw option. And here, 
after selecting the option here. So this particular uh, data that you are passing along with the request is in JSON format. So select, change the text to JSON and then paste the text here. Now we have the request URL and along with that, we have the data that we have to pass. okay? Now, if you click on send, with this email and password, if you click on send, it should give a proper response for us, okay? Here we, they have mentioned the proper response. So, so click on the send. See, what is the proper response? You see ID for token. Did we get the proper response? Yes, we got the proper response. So what if, you see, you have done a positive case so far, okay? You have tested the API, but in a positive manner by providing the valid details and the valid URL and post and all, you have verified it. Now, I want to uh, perform more testing on this API, okay? For this particular API request, I, have, I want to perform more testing on this API, okay? So what I will do here is, I'll remove this case, okay? So here, as uh, as we have discussed, right? I have, a, as I explained, right? Testing the APIs to check whether they are resulting in proper responses with different possible inputs, okay? I have to alter the inputs here, testing the APIs to check whether they are resulting in proper response with the different possible inputs. So here, let me remove the email and click on send button, okay? You see what's happening? Earlier it has created, but this time it's saying missing email or username it is saying, okay? Missing email or username it is saying. So it's working fine still, okay? If you don't provide a username, if you don't provide email, it has to give this message, right? The API is working fine. So what else you can do? So again, say control Z and go back and change it to get guys, okay? Get and click on send. You see, when I say get, some other things are coming, all the registered users are coming. This not is a functionality, right? So this is how guys, we can alter the inputs, okay? While testing the API, we have to alter the inputs and see whether we are getting proper response or not, okay? What, what will happen if you don't give the password? You have to test, okay? Different ways you have to modify the API and see whether we are getting the proper result or not, okay? You see, missing password is coming. It's working fine, okay? When I am removing the email, it's saying missing email. When I am removing the password, it's saying missing password. If I remove both email and password, another test, okay? By altering the inputs here, I'm performing another test on this API. Click on send. This time, missing email or username because by default, email is missing. Even though password is also not there, it's giving the same message. That's okay. What if you remove all this stuff? You don't give any parameters and click on send. The same message is coming, okay? So like this, guys, uh, like this, you can uh, keep on altering the different varieties of inputs here and keep checking, okay? You can give different email formats, okay? Different password formats, and you can keep on testing that particular API and see whether uh, by altering the different inputs, okay? By providing different inputs, by altering them, and testing the APS, whether we are getting proper responses or not. If you're getting proper responses, the tests on the API are passing. If you're getting improper responses, okay? If, if when you remove the email address and uh, you click on send, if, if that response is not saying that email is missing, then in that case, the API is not working as expected, okay? That's how you have to perform testing. So this is one of the example for API testing, guys, and this is how the API testing is performed. And, uh, so hope guys you understood what exactly uh, is API testing in this session. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you bye-bye.